Today, let's create a paperless quiz using Google Forms for our students. Let's navigate to docs.google.com forward slash a forward slash your school's web address. In my case, it's mywordup.com. Type in your user credentials and click on sign in or press enter. On the left hand side column, go to create new and click on form. At the very top, there are three housekeeping options that we should think about in the context of our quiz. Option number one, allow users to edit responses. This option enables our students to edit the responses after they submit their quiz. Let's not give our students this much power. Let's leave this option unchecked. Option two, require sign in to view this form. It's a very good idea to keep this quiz private, requiring every student in the classroom to log in with their user credentials. So let's leave this option checked. And our last option, automatically collect respondent's username. Having a username attached to our quiz answers will come in really handy later on. So let's make sure we check this option as well. So let's get started filling out our form. The title of our quiz, the description of our quiz. As you see, Google provides us two sample questions from the start. So we'll use them for our quiz. Question one, help text serves as a place for additional instructions. And since there are more than one possible answers to this question, I'll type in some. For question type, we'll use check boxes. And these are the same boxes that are found at the top of our page with our housekeeping options, as you can see. I'll type in the four possible answers to this question and click on done. But before I press the magic button, I'll make this a required question. This will ensure that this question does not go left and answered. And now I can click on done. And there you go, we have our first question. As you can imagine, it gets much easier from here. Now, mouse over sample question number two. On the right hand side, you'll see three icons. Click on the pencil icon to edit this blank question. Type in the question title. We can skip the help text. For question type, select multiple choice. And I'll enter four possible options. Make this a required question and click on done. And now we have two questions to our quiz. To add additional questions, go to the upper left hand corner to the add item menu and press on the arrow. For our last question, we'll require a written response. So choose paragraph text and fill out question number three. Help text, make this a required question and click on done. Now, click on the link at the bottom of the page to view your paperless quiz. And here it is. If you'd like to add a few more questions to the quiz, go back to your Google form and use the add item button in the upper left hand corner. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to improve the look of our quiz using the theme button.